running. It's uh, yeah, it's dirty. Nose is still off. I got some uh, some plastic pieces on the other side of uh, around the wheel well that I gotta get installed because there's nothing um, there's nothing protecting the uh, air filter. So basically, if I don't get that fixed, it'll just spray water into the uh, air filter, and I don't want that. A couple small other things. I need the hood latch. I got the latch. I mean, I need the bracket to hold it on. I need the other little piece right there. I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw some pins in it. I don't know. Doubt it. Need a new battery. I probably need an alternator. Um, yeah, it's running. It needs exhaust. And I need a manifold, so I might just do the whole dual exhaust setup. Because, well, why the hell not? If I gotta put new exhaust on, it's probably gonna cost around 400 bucks anyway. With all the new manifolds and everything, so I might as well just get really good exhaust for 200 bucks more. Plus, it's got the, uh, in the rear, it's got, like, it's not a GT bumper. Because, uh, it, it would say Mustang GT on it, but it says Mustang. And it's got the two holes. So, uh, yeah, kinda wanna fill them up with two real things and not fake things. And, uh, the key don't work on the trunk. Big surprise. But when the battery is working, you can just pop it from the inside. And somebody, I think this is the fuel safety switch. Somebody just cut the wires and spliced them. So, that'll have to get fixed. You know, it just, whoever really had this really was a hack and didn't really know what they were doing. Um, it's got aftermarket traction bars on it, if you can see that. And, uh, yeah, it needs work. But, you know what? Never had a Mustang. I have one now. I'm gonna keep it. It's got the, it's got the, uh, the supports, the whole length. It's got the full, uh, the full length supports on it already. So that's a plus because if I, um, if I do what I want to do, I'm going to need those anyway because I might just lift this up and make it like a little off-road cruiser or something. I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see. But, yeah. So it works. Just got to finish it off the right way, you know? just a beast. It's a crappy beast that's been uh, gathering dust. <laughs> so, hey, if it gets on the road and starts running, I'll be happy, you know. Plus, uh, I have noticed a lot with the uh, convertibles, they don't often come with the standard just because, well, standards usually are a lot extra power on your car, you know. It's like power on demand, so cool. I don't have any rugs. I care less. I think I'm just going to rhino line the hole inside. But, yeah, sometimes we're right around the corner and I want to be right around the convertible. But, so yeah, you can hear it. It's running. We'll see what happens, though. Take it easy.